Chris. Mr. Cruel, how are you? How are you, man? You okay? Yeah, good, thanks. Good stuff. Just just trying to sort this uh, homeschooling out in the meantime. One second. Oh, yeah? <laughs> just kicked, her just kicked her off the computer. I said, right, it's my turn for Zoom. <laughs> what have you been uh, teaching today? It's been maths and uh, phonics words and all this kind of malaki. So uh, the, the, it's quite well organized, actually. It's been uh, it's like a full-on schedule. Um, it's like literally, it's, it's quite impressive, actually. So they've got like two, three times, 20 minutes um, with the class on Zoom. And then the rest is all kind of homework kind of stuff. So uh, yeah. I saw she found time to paint your toenails during isolation. <laughs> uh, she was adamant. She went, oh, NHS, I want to do your colors or your toes. I go on then, no problem. <laughs> do them uh, green or yellow or black or white. I know, that's what people say. I said, no, the NHS is more important at the moment. <laughs> are you finding isolation then? Are you, are you enjoying a bit of time in the house with the family? Yeah, I just try to take the positives out of it. Um, there's no point of, like hanging the negative, you know, at the moment. You just have to uh, try to turn it into a positive that spending more time with the family, um, being able to uh, have more time with my six year old who obviously never, I'm always away. Uh, either one or two nights a week so um, yeah she's enjoying it uh, on that side of things of course I'm missing it massively to on a Saturday afternoon to be able to uh, to play on the, in the stadiums that's uh, yeah that's the big one it came at a, at a bit of a bad time for you as well because um, you just got back into the Holland squad and you were playing well and saving penalties and whatnot so it must be a little bit annoying that yeah it just again like I'm just pleased that 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 I've been able to get back to the level I wanted to be uh, before uh, before my injury. Um, I'm at a, a really good club at the moment. Uh, I've got a great connection with the fans. And, and listen, the family's healthy. Um, being back selected, I've had a great conversation with the national team manager, Kuhlman, who, um, who, yeah, who, who was really impressed with what I've, uh, what I've done over the last couple of years. So, I mean, that puts me in a good stead anyway. And if that means it's a bit of delay or a, a season, for the Euros, um, yeah, it's a shame because it would have been three amazing home games in Amsterdam uh, in the group. That would have been uh, something to look forward to. Um, so, yeah, of course, on that, that point of view, yeah, it is, it, is, uh, it is a shame. Looks like you've got a, a nice garden out the back there. What's this I hear about your uh, ride on lawnmower and putting the wrong petrol in? <laughs> I've just been trying to sort it. We've, we've emptied the, uh, <laughs> the, the diesel out. So, so I found it... Uh, a carotene, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, it said unleaded on the actual um, little box. It was like a five, six liter one. Um, and yes, I obviously just chucked it in without checking with uh, with my wife or any family member who was actually quite uh, quite good in, um, in the motor business. So I've chucked in uh, diesel instead of petrol. When I tried to start um, the lawnmower, it wasn't, uh, wasn't working anymore. So I had to drain it today uh, but now the spark plug apparently is uh is drenched with diesel so it's still not working so <laughs> <laughs> have you got a bit of space uh, in your house to, to keep up with your fitness yeah with uh, every single player i've had a, a bike delivered from the club so a watt bike it's one of those uh, heavy resisted bikes and uh, we have to do like um sessions with the team so we'll log into like a zoom or um or Skype, uh, so everybody can log in, and then uh, one of the coaches takes the sessions. Uh, so that's been been quite good to stay in touch with the boys. I've been doing a bit of yoga every morning. I'm getting quite into it. Do you guys do yoga as well, Norwich? Yeah, tomorrow we've got a, a ten thirty in the morning. We've got um, a team session, so uh, all the boys are uh, getting a bit looser um, because everybody's quite stiff after a heavy week of running around, and because uh, we we'll, we'll still have to do quite a lot. Um, on the pitches or like on the streets. Who's the best and who's the worst at yoga? The best, uh, who's been doing it for the longest time? Um, I think Tim Closer, he likes his Pilates and yoga. Um, and the worst is Alex Tetti. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he, um, he always moans that, uh, yeah, we've got a, a lady who um, once or twice a week comes to the, to the training ground and, those individual sessions 
and now when we do it with the team, you can hear them in the background saying, oh, I can't do this kind of uh, stretches or uh, it's getting ridiculous. So it's always nice to, uh, to have Alex in the group. Who do you think is going to come back the least fittest in Norwich? Um, to be fair, I think we've had our warning signs. The, our, our staff is really, uh, really, really hot on it. So nobody's allowed to come in overweight because people get big, big fines or they have to run for two weeks. And uh, the manager already said, if your body fat is too high, you will not play in the team, uh, in the first team. So uh, I think a lot of, of the boys have already had the warning signs this summer and I don't think they will do it again. What's your favourite exercise then that you've been doing in isolation? I like the bike. I don't like running. Um, yeah, I've, I've never been a runner. That's maybe why I'm a goalkeeper. Um, no, the bike is, I don't mind it. I, I can get a good sweat and work hard. Uh, I went on a bike ride the other day, uh, did 30 odd miles. Um, just, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good for uh, to stay fit. You've got to look after that knee as well. Yes, that's why running on the, on the road isn't uh, ideal. I heard you've been helping out some of your, uh, your neighbours in the community, some people who have been a bit vulnerable, not being able to get their shopping in. Can you tell us about that one? Yeah, we've got a... Well, everyone, all the players in the club at Norwich were all had a, a list of 20 numbers and names um, to ring to see if they're okay. They're all over 80. And I rang this lovely lady. She was 82. And she, um, she was okay. She had family looking after her. But she was worried about the older sister, who is 94. Um, and so I just asked her to give her number. So I gave her a call. And uh, she ended up living only five houses down the road. So... Um, I gave her a call and yeah, she was really frightened, especially three, four weeks ago where she didn't have any milk, any bread, any butter. And she was worried to get outside because uh, she's obviously that old and uh, not very mobile. So yeah, we just ended up chatting with her and she's such a lovely person. So we uh, just check up on her uh, once a week, twice a week uh, if she needs anything. And um, yeah, it was her birthday a couple of weeks ago. So we managed to get like a little birthday cake uh, over to her. So that was oh, nice. Hey, that's class. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, she was lovely. It's just such a mad time. You forget about people like that who, who don't have access to relatives or car and can't get about. So fair play for doing that as class. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you forget, like you take it for granted, I think a little bit sometimes, you know, and, and when you hear, when you speak to family and um, if, if you're not affected indirect, directly, you know, you don't really um, um, appreciate how, yeah, how serious it is sometimes. And I spoke to, some fans who, uh, who, yeah, their husband uh, is in hospital, has been in a coma, or is already been in the hospital for two, three weeks now. And it's just, yeah, it's not, um, we have to all be careful. Yeah, too right, too right. I'm just looking at myself on the video. I think I need a, a shave and a haircut. What are you going to do about not being able to get a trim? I'm, I'm starting to worry myself. Yes, yeah, especially when you read up that there's six months no uh, hairdresser. So, uh, I know, I don't know, it'll be uh, <laughs> lucky enough. Good. It's not bad. I went, I went before, uh, before the lockdown, so uh, I think I can last a little bit longer or else I might have to uh, get the old shaver out. Our readers know that I'm a big Newcastle fan. Obviously, Newcastle's a big club for you is where you started your career. You were recently voted uh, Newcastle Goalkeeper of the Decade by the fans. That must have been a massive buzz to hear that news. Yeah, of course. I mean, Newcastle is um, where it all started for me. Um, 10, 12 years uh, part of the club. So it's a big, big uh, part of, uh, of my life. So um, yeah, amazing moments. Apparently today, um, 10 years ago, we won the championship. So it's um, the great memories, um, ups and downs, but yeah, it made me the goalkeeper I am today for sure. Yeah, and earlier in the year, you got to go back to St. James's Park. Nil, nil, you kept a clean sheet, got a nice reception from the fans. What was that like? Was it weird? It was weird, yeah. I mean, it's, it feels so home uh, to play at St. James's. It feels, um, it felt amazing actually to, because the fans were genuinely um, appreciative. So it was so nice. Um, normally at an away ground, you always get uh, abuse and people shouting at you. But uh, no, I knew the Geordies will, uh, will be right with me. So it was nice to uh, keep a clean sheet as well. And yeah, just obviously the Bravka has done an amazing job at the moment. So it was nice to. Uh, to have a, a great game against uh, each other and, and he was showing his quality and it was nice for me to keep a clean sheet as well. Class, mate. Hey, well, listen, that, that's, uh, that's all my questions. Hope, no hope, hope you stay safe and um, keep fit and hopefully we'll be back to normal soon, eh? 
I know, I know. It's uh, yeah. Everyone, stay safe and uh, listen to the rules, and everything will be back to normal soon. Class man.